Uh, yes, welcome back students. If we could all turn our recording on hinged textbooks to page... All right, well, I can't find it, but there is a concept in here that is talking about making your own kind of reverb thing. Um, I believe they hook a garden hose to a microphone and have it feed back in and then the sound bounces around the garden hose and creates a different kind of reverb. So with that in mind, picked up a new mic a while back, haven't got around to try it out yet, but it is the, uh, I guess, based on a similar premise, does a different thing though, the Dr. Alien Smith wormhole. Ah, the doctor's back. Look at this thing, woo, check this out. Number nine, lucky number nine, cool. Okay, um, I'm a fan of this Dr. Alien Smith stuff. You know, I got the, uh, the, uh, I got the dirt mic, you know, love the dirt mic. I got the Alien 8, which has become a staple for my drum recording. We got the uh, dirt box. Um, haven't found a use for this yet, really, but still experimenting with it. And this brings us to this. The first piece I got from Dr. Alien was the Subkick O... Subkick O2. Yeah. So this is based on legendary Yamaha Subkick, which is pretty much impossible to find these days for a reasonable price. So I ordered one of these. Uh, we used it for a while. Um, I found that it sounds very big. It records very big, a lot of bass. Um, it's too big for me sometimes, meaning I have to cut off a lot of the bass, high pass filter to just keep the mix from getting too muddy. I also find with faster playing, like punk songs, uh, doubles on the kick, sometimes it can't keep up. It just kind of, kind of makes like, just like a flappy sound. Anyway, it's great for slow stuff. It's great for big bluesy, heavy stuff. But I'm using the Alienate, like I said, on the batter side of the kick to capture the beater. Um, since I don't port my resonant head, it doesn't seem to work so great. I haven't found a mic that works great for that, but I love this on the batter side. <clears throat> so this thing, you are supposed to kind of wrap it around the kick drum and the floor tom, and it kind of makes, records a sound similar to when you hear a roommate, you know, with their bass on. You just kind of hear that like, that low thud, that low thump. Uh, you can't really hear any of the treble. This is supposed to do the same kind of thing. So I'm hoping that I could mix this in with the Alien 8 and that would give me a little more low mid punch but without that super uh, deep sub bass which is kind of just muddying things up for me. So uh, let's give it a try. Right. Okay, here it is. The Okay, it's about 12 feet in the air uh, up on a mic stand because that's how long the tube or trunk or whatever you want to call it. The snake, that's how long the snake is. Um, it did not work for me on the floor. It picked up too much low end resonance from my cymbal stands. Even though I've got carpet and concrete, it was still picking up a ton of resonance. So up on the stand, that completely eliminates that issue. And it's quite interesting actually as a room mic because it just picks up like low mid punch and a little bit of the snare just to add body. So uh, yeah, let's hear how it sounds. Hmm?
gotta be life going.